The next question to answer is, are collagen supplements safe if you're having cancer treatment? Your doctor and nurse will not know. We are not experts in this. We don't get training in this. And likewise, most wellness gurus, websites, nutritionists are probably not experts in breast cancer treatment. So it's up to you to do your research. But remember this, chemotherapy and radiotherapy are designed to kill cancer cells, whilst the supplement industry is designed to heal cells. So you really need to think carefully. The tamoxifen is really interesting. When you swallow the drug, tamoxifen isn't active. It has to get broken down by an enzyme to form the active drug. And there are many drugs and supplements which stop that enzyme working. So if any supplement you're taking has a chemical or a mineral in it that stops tamoxifen working, you are gonna greatly increase the risk of your cancer coming back. And we know there are things like St. John's wort and black cohosh um, that stop tamoxifen working like grapefruit juice, but we don't have a long list of every supplement. And if you were eating a healthy diet with a lot of proteins from either plant or animal-based sources, you shouldn't need to take the collagen supplement because your body will get all the protein it needs to make collagen. Things you can do to boost the quality of your skin is to avoid UV damage, not to get sunburned, to wear a sun filter, because all that burning that happened to me as a kid, that's the reason why my skin is damaged now. Stop smoking, because smoking damages collagen production. A low sugar diet, because high sugar can make collagen in the skin more stiff, so your skin doesn't feel as good. The usual, sleep, exercise, look after yourself. They're things that you can do for free to boost the collagen supplies in your skin. And if you eat a healthy diet, you should be able to save your money on supplements and treat yourself for something else. I hope that helps.